Hello, my name's Limey Joe, and this is my beginner's guide to Rebel Galaxy. Rebel Galaxy is described as a swashbuckling space adventure on Steam, and was released in 2015, but I only picked it up recently. It's a fairly similar game to Elite, but has main storyline to follow, which I liked because it gave me a purpose rather than setting my own goals. Most of your game time will be spent in your ship, either trading between space stations, completing missions, or shooting other ships, or a combination of all three. You can also mine asteroids and sell the materials if that floats your boat, but I found mining a little dull, so after the first few, I hung up my mining laser in favour of something with a little more ship-killing potential. The first thing you'll notice about piloting your ship in Rebel Galaxy is that you cannot fly up or down, and your main ship guns fire to the sides rather than directly forwards, much like a galleon in Pirates of the Caribbean. But don't let that put you off, the combat in Rebel Galaxy is just as much fun as any of the similar games I've played. The ships are also equipped with turrets that can be manually targeted and fired, or will fire on their own if you're using the broadside cannons. Personally I found it easiest to let the turrets auto fire and concentrate on the main side firing cannons, but that's probably because I'm a terrible multitasker. If you want to tailor how your turrets work, there is a menu found by pressing the start button if you're using an Xbox controller. This allows you to change how each turret reacts in a combat situation from targeting everything to being completely manual or not auto attacking at all. Your broadside cannons have a charging period. Try to wait for the aiming indicator to go yellow, meaning fully charged, before firing and you will usually get a good hit. Other controls you have include a speed boost and a deflector, which is like a temporary extra shield. Used together, these abilities can often get you out of sticky situations before you get blown to space dust by a superior foe. Later on, you can also buy various missiles to add to your arsenal, but you do have limited ammunition, so use them wisely. Next, let's look at the typical options you get in the space station. First, there's the equipment bay. This is for changing the guns, shields or engine etc on your current ship. Don't worry if you change your ship for a better one later because the upgrades get transferred to your new ship and any that you don't use get put into surplus for either sale or use later. Next there's the shipyard for buying a new ship. So far I found that the bigger the better is the general rule. After that is the commodities market. This is for buying and selling various goods, including illegal goods. If you have the money, expensive goods are best. Try to buy them when they're around half of the system average price, but generally red priced items are best to buy, and when the price is green, sell all you have of that item. I found straight commodities trading to be less satisfying in Rebel Galaxy than in Elite for example. It can be fairly tricky to predict where it's going to be best to sell your goods, so mostly I buy a few things if they're really good price, but leave space in my cargo hold so I can scoop up crates dropped by my enemies. Next is Mission Board. This is for taking on new missions and checking out your current ones. There are various missions from assassinations to transporting your goods, but keep an eye on the reputation gained or lost for each mission. After that there is Visit the Bar. The most useful part of visiting the bar is hiring a mercenary. Mercenary is a one-off cost for a wingman, or woman, or mech, who will help you out until they get killed. Obviously the more you pay, the better the merc, and you can find out little bits of useful information at the bar as well. Lastly, I just thought I'd give a couple of tips for any fresh-faced captains embarking on their journey into Rebel Galaxy. Number one, if you come across an enemy and he asks you to drop your cargo to avoid a fight, don't do it unless you're willing to drop everything you have. There is no option to drop part of your cargo, it's all or nothing. Number two, keep your eyes open for containers floating in space, especially in junk fields. They show up as either small or large squares on your short range scan, blue for legal cargo, red for illegal cargo. Large cargo containers are particularly good and often hold a number of good items. And number three, if you're doing a mission that involves a number of jumps to different sectors, make sure you stop a few times along the way. Not only does it give you a chance to do a bit of trading en route, but the game saves every time you visit a space station, and it will save you losing a chunk of progress. That's it for this guide. Hope you find it useful and have fun in Rebel Galaxy. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.